Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction, and today I am going to be curating a Project 333 based capsule wardrobe for my toddler. Right now my son is two and a half, so while he does have some clothing preferences and likes to pick out what he wants to wear every now and then, for the most part he really doesn't seem to care too much about his wardrobe, which I appreciate. So at this point in his life I'm able to have more control over what is actually in his drawers. So while I've been using the Project 333 method for myself in my own closet for almost two years now, this is only going to be the second time that I have implemented this method with my toddler's clothes. I did this in January and it really made such a huge difference. His drawers were no longer overflowing. I did not feel overwhelmed when I went to put laundry away. But as we transitioned into spring, I was really using a lot of the things from the winter capsule wardrobe, but still adding, you know, short and more short sleeve shirts here and there. And I think because it wasn't such a harsh transition or because this is still kind of new when it comes to his clothes, I did not do a spring capsule wardrobe for him. So it's like spring and winter and summer are just, I guess that's the best way I have to describe his dresser right now. It's an absolute mess. It is extremely overwhelming for me. And I probably would have suffered with this for a significant period of time, but we just went camping. And instead of pulling his camping clothes out of his dresser, because I wanted to try and get ready early, I just pulled a bunch of summer stuff that was in a tote that I had, things that did fit him. And I packed from that, but now all of that is out. And when I asked my husband to put Alex's clothes away, I was like, just put them on top of the dresser because I knew that there was not going to be any room in here. So I am really just kind of having to come face to face with my reality right now. And since it is actually summer right now and we are experiencing warm temperatures on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like it's going to be easier for me to actually like kind of hone in on a summer specific capsule wardrobe and hopefully feel a little bit more at peace when I'm getting him dressed every day and putting laundry away. Because I tell you, I have been feeling a mild bit of anxiety when it comes to all of this. So first things first, rewind to this morning. The tote that I had his summer stuff in that I had pulled his camping clothes out of, I did pull that out of the closet this morning. I took everything out, kind of sorted through everything. There was a lot of 3T stuff, like right now 2T fits, but also 3T fits. So any 3T stuff that still had tags on it or seemed like it would fit him in the future, I decided to just keep that for next year. He has plenty of stuff that we will be able to work with this year, more on the 2T stuff. Any shirts that seemed like a little short, I decided we're gonna use those now. And then just a few things I did not want to hang on. There was a shirt that, that said best brother ever. He has an older brother, so that shirt, we're just, we're not gonna bring that into the house. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass that on to somebody else. And then I'm sure that there will be plenty in here that we will be passing on as well. Things that he's growing out of, things that are just no longer serving us for this season of life um, and this season, summer specifically. This always initially feels kind of like an overwhelming experience when I'm doing capsule wardrobes for myself. But I think that the best method for me when it comes to organizing my capsule wardrobe myself is I pile everything on my bed. We're gonna do it on the floor today. It's all nice and vacuumed and everything. I'm going to sort by things that I wanna keep, sort by things that I want to pass on, sort things out that don't serve us for this season, but really for him since he's growing, those will be things that we are donating. And then losing my thought. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, and then at that point I will categorize shirts, shorts, sweaters, what have you. And then we will decide what's staying and what's going. And if you're not familiar with the Project 333 system, there's a great book by Courtney Carver. I highly recommend listening to the audiobook, which was my method, or reading it. I'm gonna link it in the description below. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, before I think of anything else to talk about, let's get started. Let's pull all of the shenanigans out of this dresser. Also, if you hear any weird boy noises, my son and his friend are playing Minecraft right now in the living room. Okay, let's do this. So, all right, whatever. I'm not talking about anything, we're just doing this. really hoping 
was going to get another summer in these. My oldest son, these were his, and Alec got a few wears out of these last summer and the summer before actually, because he was very round, but they're 18 months, they no longer fit him. But there are certain things that I just want to hang on to forever because I feel like this is a timeless style that someday I'll be able to pass on to a possible grandbaby. And maybe that's ridiculous to hang on to something for, you know, the next 20 years. But I mean, I will say I'm probably doing better uh, than my grandparents were. So I'll let, allow myself to hang on to a few things. And that's one of them. Okay, so I have everything sorted. I have my pile of, I guess, fall specific stuff. This is what I'm going to be pulling from for summer. And then over here, I have socks, swimwear, undies, which we are unfortunately not using as much as I would like to. These are the things that don't count. Jammies also don't count, but I need to sort through those. During the spring, Alec basically refused to wear pajamas and he's just been sleeping in his diaper, which is saving me on laundry, which I absolutely appreciate and admire that but I need to decide what am I keeping for possible fall, winter use, assuming that he wants to wear jammies during the cooler times of the year. And then also I really love pajamas for the end of the day when we're camping because it's like, I know he's most likely going to end up taking these off for bed, but after they're cleaned up from the day, it's just nice to have a layer on their bodies to keep them mostly clean. So I'll probably keep a couple pairs out just to have on hand for when we do any more uh, vacationing this summer. So which uh, fingers crossed. So let's stop talking and do more doing. Okay, so right now I'm going to go through those PJs, keep out the ones that I would use for summer, and then we're going to sort and categorize everything here. This is definitely more than 33 items. This kid hands down has way more clothes than I do. One, two, three, go. Oh, my body. downgraded or upgraded sweats. I don't know, you tell me, but I had to cut the legs off of them because we ended up camping longer than we had planned and he needed a pair of shorts. And I think this might be one of those items where it's like a functional item, like it goes in the play category and doesn't count towards the nice 333 items that I would actually consider bringing him out in public in. Okay, kid sizing is so frustrating. Like there were some shorts that I tossed out that were 24 months and while yes, they did fit him there's just like this transition between 24 months and 2T where like the 24 month just leaves a significant amount of like their diaper and butt hanging out. But these are 4T and they fit him. I was like, okay, here's a 4T pair of shorts and here's a 2T pair of shorts. Like literally the same size. And okay, let's, these are both the same brand. These are 3T right here. And they're the same style short and these are the ones behind are 40. So I think this is kind of one of those examples where just size up. Like if your kids are growing out of the 2T shorts, buy them the 4T because the waist is, there's like maybe a quarter of an inch difference. And like with pajamas, I always skip a size. Like when Alec grew out of his 2T stuff, I just got 4T stuff. The pants were a little long. I just cuffed them and it worked fine. Kids clothes are so frustrating. I just, don't get me started because we'll talk about things a lot longer than we really need to. that is more than acceptable. We need to cut this in half. Three pairs of sweats, one pair of pants, three tank tops, and then one, two, three, four, five, six sweater kind of things. So as of right now, my method to this is 
wearing out and getting the most use we can out of the things that he's going to be growing out of sooner rather than later, like all of the 2T stuff or the 3T things that are like basically a 2T shirt. better and then this one I like that one that one okay these two have seen better days these are definitely things that we're going to be gravitating towards when we're going outside like things that I don't really care if they get dirty these are the things that are in better condition gosh I don't even consider this a functional item at that point that has been through many a child so I think one with a hood a pullover one also, I know that summer technically transitions into September when we're experiencing more fall weather, but when we get to that point where it's like, okay, we need to be wearing more sweatshirts, we need to be wearing more pants, I'm just going to transition to fall at that point. So don't freak out about the fact that like, I'm only counting like this pullover and like this little zip up thing. These are just the things that we would actually like consider wearing out in public at this point. And if it is cold, if it is raining, please, don't worry, I will pull out a raincoat. I will pull out something warmer because in my past personal capsule wardrobe videos, there has been concern about like things that I might need. These are more just the things that I know that we will use. Okay, moving on. Also this outfit my mom and dad got for him in Hawaii and it's like this little button up situation. Alec loves it. I'm counting this as one piece because it's always worn together. Um, he thinks he looks like my dad and it his baba, which I think is so cute that he wants to dress like his grandpa. It's quite sweet. Okay, so I think we're gonna lay everything out, just see what we're working with, you know, like all together and then we'll pack things up and probably part with another couple things along the way, who knows. shirts laid out I am going to go through as I lay these shorts out and just make sure that there's at least two or three shirts that each pair of shorts will go with because if it's a pair of shorts that it's going to be difficult for me to match I don't feel like that it's something that I even want to consider keeping out. Oh sorry kitty sorry for a bitch. So we're officially at 29 items. I think that since we've got some wiggle room, I am going to just add his shoes in. That way we can see everything that we have. So I'll go grab his two pairs of tinnies and then his nicer sandals. Okay, I was going to save this for fall because I feel like it's kind of a fall style, but I'm looking at these two sweaters and while they will go with most of the shirts that he has, I do kind of want to have just something more neutral. It's light enough that it will be okay for um, a cooler summer day, but it's just going to complement more than what these two like dinosaur shark uh, sweaters will. So we're adding this in and then that will round us off at 33 items. Okay, so I will say that I am extremely happy with how this worked out. I'm so glad that I decided today to just take the time and get this done. We've got the 11 t-shirts, three tank tops, that one little Hawaiian outfit, nine pairs of shorts, one zip up hoodie, one crew sweater, this hooded pullover, his pair of sandals, his two sneakers that we're gravitating towards for like a more put together, less grungy play look, and then two pairs of sweats and a pair of pants. I think that this is going to be perfect, probably more than enough for summer considering that he is wearing diapers a lot. We're also in swimwear a ton, which I'm not counting towards this. I think he has for swim trunks like three or four pairs and then three or four rash guards. So also probably more than enough, but I would rather be a little overprepared. And while I know that this will be plenty for us to get through the next two, three months of nicer weather, I will have the other things that I can grab from if I absolutely need, but this is it. I'm so happy. I'm 
really looking forward to folding this all up nicely and getting it put in the drawers and having just organized bliss for the next few months. It's beautiful. And then I need to make myself, even though I feel like going from summer to fall is kind of like a transition compared to going from spring to summer. And hopefully I don't do what I did this last time and just, you know, pull things from the warmer stuff and then just have a monstrosity of chaos and overwhelm in the dresser. Because to me, this just feels like peace and calm. Alrighty, well, that is that. Thank you for tagging along with me as I tackled all of Alex's clothing. I still have stuff that I need to put away. But overall, I feel so much relief knowing that it's only going to be the 33 items and then the few random functional items that I am going to be interacting with on a daily basis. Everything else will be in a tote to deal with on another day. We get our fair share of hand-me-downs. And while I do part with some of the things that we get as they come into the home, for the most part, I like to hang on to the majority of what we were given because I personally really like the security of knowing that for the most part, I really won't have to personally purchase anything for Alec as he grows. It is a different story with my oldest. We're not getting hand-me-downs from him. So we are buying all of his clothes, either new or thrifted. And I really love that for as of right now, we are really only needing to purchase supplemental items for Alec here and there. So very thankful to everyone who is giving us their hand-me-downs for Alec, much appreciated. But if you've created a capsule wardrobe for your kiddos, let me know how that's gone for you. If there's a specific system that you're using, I'm curious to hear, are you doing anything different than what I'm doing? And do you feel like it has drastically and positively changed your life like it has for me? And if you are not doing a capsule wardrobe for your kiddo, uh, why not? First of all, I do understand that some kids are a little bit more I don't want to say possessive, particular, more particular about their clothing and what they have and what they have available to them. This would also probably get significantly more challenging with older kids like teens. I would never dream of having only 33 pieces of clothing when I was in my teens. Um, gosh, even my early 20s, I would never dream of it. But I think the older you get, you just realize the less is more thing, like there's really something to it. So that's that. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I will link uh, the playlist for all of my other capsule wardrobe videos in the description below. There's one more video that I did um, in Alex's room. Do the, diaper, the majority of that playlist is all of my capsule wardrobe videos. There is one other where I did Alex's capsule wardrobe video during the winter, like I had talked about. But if you are interested in tagging along with me for future capsule wardrobe videos, or just videos of me cleaning my house really fast when I feel unmotivated, feel free to subscribe. But I appreciate you taking a chunk out of your day to hang out with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, I love you, have fun, and be kind.